morning children. Thank you for joining me. Today I have picked out music that I believe is y'all's favorite. So I want you all to participate and have fun. I miss you all. Now let's sing for the Lord, okay? I love you.
Thank you, God, for bringing us here today and for the sacrifice that you have done for us. The night that he was going to be betrayed, he took the bread, he lifted it, he blessed it, and he said, This is my body, which will be shared for you. Every time you eat of this, do it in remembrance of me. In the same manner, he took the cup, he lifted it, he blessed it, and he said, This is my blood, which will be shed for you. Every time you eat of this, do it in remembrance of me. Now we eat. Now we drink. Good morning, children. Welcome back. So, I have to apologize to y'all about the week, not last week, but the week before, I told you that we were done with the series of Dive In. I got confused and I was wrong. We're still doing the series of Dive In. So that means we have the same Bible verse and we're going to study it today so that way y'all can learn it. So let's get started. Okay. Y'all see I have a couple new friends. I'll introduce them to y'all in a second. Okay. Let's say our prayer so we can get started. We got a lot to learn today. All right. Bow your heads. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. All right. So, like I said, we have new friends. The this is Leo, the lion, and then we have Porty right here, Porty the Portipus, and then we have Timmy, y'all remember Timmy, okay, and we have a couple, on one more friend over there, but I'll show him, I'll introduce you to him in a little bit, okay, so, <clears throat> like I said, we're still in the series of the Dive In, and remember what the purpose of Dive In is, to dive into the Bible, dive into learning the Bible, or, or studying the Bible, learning how to go into the Bible to find your stories that you want to know about or questions that you have. Remember I told you it's a storybook, a storybook that y'all can go in and find anything that you need to find out about, answer any question that you have that needs to be answered, okay? Did y'all like the songs this morning? I think they're brand new songs and I think y'all are going to like them. Little by little we're learning more songs and y'all can dance to them, make your own dance moves and if you're in your living room, do what you got, do what you want to do in your living room. Show your, your parents and your family that you enjoy singing for the Lord. Okay? All right. So today's Bible verse is, like I said, it's the same one. So y'all should have it memorized by now. If not, I want you to memorize it. Study because there's gonna be a couple of still more a couple of weeks that we're gonna be in the in the series of the dive in. All right. So the memory verse is. Your word is like a lamp that shows me the way. It is like a light that guides me. And it's out of Psalms 119, 105. Okay, study it, learn it, memorize it. I'll give you coins when we come back, all right? All right. So, today we're also going to talk about the fact that In the Bible, there, like I said, there's a lot of stories, but there's a lot of um, lessons that we can learn from. The lesson that, that is in for this week is out of Acts, the book of Acts. The book of Acts is, if you put shun behind that, you have action. So a lot of the, the Circumstances and everything that happens in the book of Acts is actually actions, actions that we're doing. So in the book of Acts, this, this week we're talking about fellowship, fellowship of believers. Now, this was before Jesus. The book of Acts is before Jesus. So what did they used to do? Back then, they weren't like... Like we're talking about the dive in series. That if, do you want to dive into the water to explore it, to find the beautiful fish, to find the beautiful animals that are living under the water, under the ocean? Or do you just want to stand behind in the beach, just barely getting your feet wet, and not, not really going into there, 
And that's what we want to do. We want to go into. Back then, these people, they were, they'd gather around and they'd listen. They wanted to hear what everybody was talking about, what uh, John was talking about, what Abraham, what Moses, what everybody. Yeah, they wanted to learn. They wanted to know the story. Why is this? Why is that? That's what we're going to learn. Why is that? Why is it important to learn the Bible? So that way you can learn and to be good. Remember, the main objective of our life is to be like Jesus. So we got to learn everything just like Jesus did. We got to learn everything so we can get there. Today's story we're going to talk about, like I said, it's a story, it's a storybook. So today's storybook is out of our book, our children's Bible book, and we're going to Guess why he's here? We're going to read Daniel in the Lion, Among the Lions, or Daniel in the Lion's Den. Remember that, that story? Does it sound familiar? Well, that's what we're going to read today. Daniel Among the Lions. Okay. See? That's what we're going to read today. All righty. So, this is the book, story is out of the book of Daniel. Okay. So, King Darius soon discovered that Daniel was intelligent and talented. So, he wanted him to serve in his kingdom as well. He appointed Daniel over all the other officials. This made the officials angry, and they decided to get rid of Daniel. They asked the king to pass a law that no one could worship any god but the king for 30 days. If someone was caught worshiping or praying to another god, that person had to be cast into the lion's den. The king agreed, not realizing that this was all designed to implicate Daniel. They wanted to get after that. Daniel ignored the law and continued to pray to God three times a day, just as he always did. The men who plotted against him told the king about Daniel's praying. They insisted that Daniel had to be fed to the lions. Even though the king regretted his decree, meaning he regretted making that rule, there was nothing he could do because it was the law now. Daniel was thrown into the lion's den. Do y'all think that he was eaten up? Early the next morning, the king went to the lion's den. He called Daniel's name, and Daniel answered. He was unharmed. The Lord had sent an angel to close the lion's mouth. King Darius was overjoyed because he liked Daniel very much. And now he knew that Daniel's God was the most powerful God of all. So what do you think? That he was there, he was praying. Because that's what he did. That's what he did three times a day. So do you think he was telling the, the, the lions a story? And praying that the lions, and he trusted, because why? He trusted that God was going to take care of him. God was not going to harm him. Aren't those stories wonderful? They're wonderful because why? Because they were very obedient. Every story that we have read, it's about obedience. Doing what is right. Doing what is God has us, asks us to do. I asked y'all to go into the Bible and to pick out stories, to find stories that you liked. You can go back into these stories that we've read. If you like those stories, find a verse out of the Bible out of that story that you like. Remember it, memorize it, and that way you can share it. When we get together, again, y'all can share all your stories, all that, the wonderful stories that y'all have learned from the Bible. Now, the, like I said, the Acts was that they, in the book of Acts, is that they would get together. They would get together. See, that's why we have friends today. They wanted to come in and get together so we could read the stories or we can learn about God and we could teach each other about God. And remember I told you, you cannot dive in the ocean without what? You cannot battle your giants without what? That's right, 
your armor of God. I'm going to do an illustration to show you how important it is to keep the armor of God so that you don't sink. You die, you're going to dive into the water. If you're wearing the armor of God or you're wearing the equipment that God made for you to wear, any equipment that you put on for protection, you won't sink. But if you take it off, that's a different story. Okay. All right, here we go. Now, these oranges are going to illustrate, these are going to be uh, little soldiers. Yeah, little soldiers. Okay. So, this little soldier, he's very obedient. He loves Jesus. He loves God. And he's going to learn a Bible verse every week. He's going to pay attention to his parents. He's going to be good. And he's going to dive in. See how he floats. He doesn't sink because he's wearing the armor of God. This guy here, he wants to be a rebel. He wants to, to not pay attention and not listen. So he says, I'm going to take off my helmet. I'm going to take off all my armor of God because I don't want to wear it. I don't need to wear it. I don't need to learn the Bible. I don't need to learn the stories of the Bible. Miss Donna's telling me to read the Bible. I don't want to. But you know what? Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. But I'm going to take off my shield of faith. I'm going to take off my boots of readiness. I'm going to take off my belt of truth. I'm going to take off my helmet of salvation. And I'm going to take off the sword of the spirit. I'm okay. I'm still an orange, right? I'm still, I'm still whole. I'm still whole. I just took off all my armor. I'm going to jump in the water too. Here we go. Uh-oh. Can you see what happened? Can y'all see what happened to the, to the one that took off his armor? Look at that. He's down in the bottom. He sank. So children... Don't ever take off your armor. Always wear it. Even if you think that it's not protecting you, you don't want to drown. You don't want to be the one that's going to be in the bottom and looking up to everybody that, that is obedient. See? Be obedient. Be good children. All right? Read your Bible, be excited about learning the stories, and you can do it. You can do it. I know you can. Always wear your armor. I love you, and until next week, okay? Take care of each other, and stay close to each other. All right. Let's say a little prayer. Bow your heads. Lord God. We thank you. We thank you for providing our families for us, Lord God. We thank you for giving us the families that are going to protect us and guide us and, and never do harm by us. Lord God, help me to keep the armor of God on. Help me keep my armor on so I can move forward and learn your word. Learn what stories you want me to learn, Lord God. I want to be just like Jesus. We want to be just like Jesus, Lord God. Keep us healthy, Lord God, and we pray that you keep in protection all the families, the children that are getting sick. Lord God, let them be obedient and trust in your word and trust that you're healing them. Lord God, we ask all this in your son's most precious name, Jesus. We love you. Amen. Amen, children. I'll see you all next week, okay? Besitos.